Hi. Welcome to Get a Clue, Casual Gamer, where we get a clue, C-L-U-E, about a game. And today we're going to be looking at the game Sounds Fishy. Okay, very reflective. <laughs> Sounds Fishy is a party game. Plays four to ten players. Okay. <sighs> We're getting a clue. C for components. What are you going to find inside this box? L for length. How long does this game take to play? U for uniqueness. Does this remind me of any other games that I might already know? And E for ease. How easy is this to learn, teach, play? How easy is it to find? How easy is it on your pocketbook? So we begin with components. What is inside this box? Well, first of all, I want to give a shout out to this is a very well constructed box. I mean, it is extremely sturdy. I mean, it is really, things are not moving. So it's kind of like, okay, the box is pretty good. Inside the box, you're gonna find the rules. Inside the box, you're going to find eight red fish and one blue fish. They all look the same on one side, but one is different, and that's part of the game. You need that for the game. Sounds fishy. And then you're going to have some, I guess, coins, points, whatever. They're a little cardboard coinage. Ones, fives, and twenties, I believe. And so I put them in a little bag. And then you're gonna get a whole bunch of cards with questions on them. And um, that's it. That's all that you're gonna find inside this box. So length of play. Well, the manufacturer says, what does he say? I forgot, that was the one thing I forgot to look at. He doesn't say because basically it's up to you how long you want to play it. But I would say it's set to be about a half hour at the most, because if you're um, a smaller group, you do two rounds. If you're a larger group, you only do one round. So that way it kind of keeps the length of play shorter. So the length of play, I would say, give it about a half hour or so. Um, yeah, that's about right. Then um, uniqueness, does this remind me of any other games? Well, it kind of reminds me of Balderdash, um, where you're making up an answer. Or, yeah, it's kind of like Balderdash in that sense. But it's different because somebody is going to have the correct answer. Let's say you have five people playing. For that game, you're gonna need three red and one blue because the person asking the question, reading the question, isn't gonna be using them. So these kind of get mixed in, mixed up, and then everyone, other than the one reading the question, picks up one of the fish and whoever happens to be the one with the blue you don't show anybody especially the one who's going to be asked asking the question you just know that you are the one who's going to know the answer because when someone reads a question the answer is on the side that faces everybody else so they can see what the correct answer is. And the one with the blue fish writes the correct answer down or on a piece of paper. Oh, it doesn't come with paper. You need to provide your own paper and your own writing utensils, just so you know. Or you could just say it. That's true, you could just say it. But it would make sense to write it down and that, you know, either or, however you want. Anyway, um, so it, it's kind of like 
balderdash in that you're most of everyone is making up an answer whereas one person no gives the correct answer and then the person who read the question has to decide one by one it's like i think you are the right answer and they turn over their fish and nope and then i think you are the answer yes and so the points are depending on that so it's a little different but it's got enough similarities that it's not a strange game for us. I mean, you know, come up with a fake response. The example on the back of the box is, um, the question is, what did, oh, sorry, in South Dakota, where is it illegal to fall asleep? And one person answered in the bath, another one answered a cheese factory, and the third one answered on a horse. The correct answer was, at a cheese factory. Okay, so um, so that's the uniqueness of it. Easy. How easy is it to learn, teach, play? Okay. <laughs> Basically, I just told you how to play it. But in case you really want it written down, here's the aim, the objective, the setup, and this is the play. That's it. I mean, the play explains about the blue and the red fish and the ending. Four to five player game, two rounds, six to ten player, one round. There you go. See, I knew I had seen that. It's a very fun, it could be a light um, uh, party game. And so, yeah, just have fun with it. It does come from Big Potato Games, and Big Potato Games is, from my experience, they like to create light, fun, or and or funny games. They want you to have fun when you're playing their games. So this one fits the bill pretty well. And you don't have to keep score because if you get it right and whatever number it is, you just get the coins representing and and so you always know how how many points you have. How easy is it to find and how easy is it on your pocketbook? Well, it's did I mention it came out this year? 2022? Yeah, it came out in 2022 very recently. Um and so I don't think everyone's gotten it yet for retail. Now, I bought it. I had no problems. I saw it being played and I said, ah, that looks like fun. And so I went on Amazon and sure enough, there it was. And I just ordered it and it came. So now for this video, I went looking and miniaturemarket.com doesn't even have it listed. Uh, GameNerds.com doesn't have it listed. Um, Barnes & Noble doesn't have it listed. Target doesn't have it listed. Amazon has it listed. And just so that you know, Amazon's listing is for $20. I'm not sure if that's the retail price. Um, that sounds about right. So if you're interested, how hot, easy is it to find? Not so easy right now because it's so new. I don't think they've received them yet. And so they don't even have them listed. It, if they ran out of stock, that would be listed, but it's not listed. Uh, your friendly game store might have it. Um, sounds fishy is, uh, quite a, he, you know, it, it's a game that some places might think is too easy, but it's very family friendly, very uh, friend friendly. It's, it's, yeah. So anyway, I'm getting late on my timing. And so there you have it, $20 Amazon. You can get it right now as I'm speaking, I'm looking at it. So happy gaming and please subscribe or like this video or both. And uh, God bless you and your family. Bye.